This is lesson 4 of 16 lessons on how to build a Joomla website. In this lesson, you'll learn how to get started with Joomla quickly and easily by creating a Joomla demo account. If I haven't convinced you that Joomla is the right solution for you, then this is the perfect way to get a feel for what Joomla can do for no upfront cost. It's also great if you can't get your head around installing Joomla as this is all done for you when you register. This is the Joomla demo site, which is run by an independent Joomla web host called cloudaccess.net. Once you register for an account, you get your own Joomla website that you can work on for 30 days. At the end, you can choose to walk away from it or turn it into a paid account with cloudaccess.net or move the site you built during the trial to a host of your choosing. If you choose to continue using cloudaccess.net, a portion of your hosting fee is paid to Open Source Matters, the body that oversees the Joomla project. This means you not only get specialist Joomla hosting, you're also helping the Joomla project. The process to get started is to register for a demo account and confirm your email address. Start by entering a name in the first box. Then in the second box, enter text that will be used as part of the demo web address. This text will appear at the start of the address. For example, if I enter road-runner, the demo site address I'll be given during the demo period is road-runner.cloudaccess.net. Of course, you can use any domain name with a Joomla site, but in the case of the demo site, you need to upgrade to a paid account to use your own domain. Next, you will need to enter a valid email address as the account owner needs to be verified as part of the registration process. Then enter a phone number if you wish to be contacted by a Joomla specialist. Next, you need to select a country and enter the capture. Finally, if there is a choice about which version of Joomla to install, make the appropriate choice. This course is all about Joomla 3, so that's what I'll use. Next, you will need to enter a valid email address as the account owner needs to be verified as part of the registration process. Then enter a phone number if you wish to be contacted by a Joomla specialist. Next, you need to select a country and enter the capture. Finally, if there is a choice about which version of Joomla to install, make the appropriate choice. This course is all about Joomla 3, so that's what I'll use. Finally, check the box to agree to the terms and conditions of the demo. And click the Launch button. An email is then sent to the address you entered, and you need to click the link in this to confirm the activation of the account. Your demo site is then created and you can access it using the web address that you specified during the registration. In my case, that was roadrunner.cloudaccess.net. And this is the end result, a Joomla site that contains some sample data. You will also receive another email, this time with the access information you need to get into the Joomla administrator. That's all that's required for getting started with Joomla using the Joomla demo site. You can now skip ahead to Lesson 7 where you'll learn about the front end of Joomla.